Sorry, I'm just finishing yeah, my yeah. oatmeal. Yeah, cause Cassandra's cat. Effort is good. I, I like effort. Effort's all I'm bothered about. Like you could do a lot with a bonsai dream. Good. So today, the theme for today is experimenting, which does fit well with Sophie. In my life, I discovered Sophie uh, only recently on the internet, uh, as you do. Uh, she runs an independent record label in Toronto, um, which is amazing. And um, elephant. Elephant. <laughs> But um, I'm always pleased to see that kind of stuff. People creating cults for themselves because it's what they want to do and because they're excited about it. So I want you to think of some questions that you would like to ask to Sophie, who's a woman running her own independent record label. And this has shown that I was not lying. These are great questions. So I run the record label. It's called Biblioteca Records. It focuses on like experimental, instrumental music. I also DJ. I used to do a lot of like more workshops and stuff in real life. So now since COVID, I've been trying to figure out ways to move um, them online. We try to get teachers who are women or trans people or non-binary people, people of color. And we try to cater the workshops to those audiences as well. Uh, I was, this is like the most incredible thing. I'm extremely on brand for this course. And... I mean, time management, for sure. I'm a Virgo. There's many different ways that I want to interact with music. And I think a large part of, I guess, success for me was thinking beyond just live stuff and like bigger scale things, bigger ways to interact with music. And also like community, for sure. Because I think that in order to succeed whatever field you're in or whatever you want to do, you have to participate in the community that you want to be a part of. So I think you have to like definitely give, give, give a lot more before you can ask for like ask to take. The, the thing that people think is the main thing that a person does is not necessarily the thing that makes the most money. Um, the music that I make personally is like Probably very right. experimental, very like textured, modular synth style stuff. I work a lot with like found sound, so I like go to the park and record some birds or whatever. And it's very experimental music. It's largely created just for me um, because it's, I really take a lot of inspiration from artists like Sarah Devachi, John Cage, um, Turkish artist who's now dead, Ilhan Mimoroglu. Things snowball. I like the phrase, things snowball. There's all sorts of like weird experimental sound stuff that maybe isn't necessarily some what some people call music. But to me, I really like it. And I just like experimenting with different types of sounds and like how, how unlistenable and how textured can it be. I think the internet is ultimately like a tool that you can use to your advantage in whatever way. And that requires you like putting in the work to find your audience and find your niche and figure out where these people are, how to find them and make them listen to your music. Mike, this is an interesting bit. I, my friend and I went to the studio and we recorded like our hands rubbing against each other. And then we added a bunch of like reverb and elements to that. What advice would you give to someone starting out? Engage with what other people are doing because then they'll be more likely to possibly reciprocate that to you. And even if not, you can find yourself a mentor, just somebody to learn from, from a distance. At the end of the day, like I know that I'm doing it for me, whatever the project is. And I think that really helps me get through, you know, kind of dark days where I feel like nobody's paying attention. But then I remember, well, like I worked really hard on it and I did it at the end of the day for myself. I guess those would be my main advice. One, focus on community and what you can offer people instead of what they can do for you. And two, just honestly, like, do whatever you want. Stay true to yourself. Don't give up. And know, like, your why, your reason, your purpose for doing things. And just remind yourself constantly of who you are. Of all of the DJs in Toronto, especially all the women that I know, and even the ones that play this kind of more accessible tech house, like, I did the math one year, and it was, like, 2% women for all of 2019. And I was like, that's really bad. Like, it's not even like 30% where you can be like, okay, like, mm, fine, you're trying 2%. I was like, this is horrible. And I try to call it out. But like, my, my main thing is what I've been saying online recently is I wish that more men called each other out for this kind of stuff. Because when women call men out for this stuff, it really comes off as like, oh, you're so bitchy, you're complaining, like, you know, and it's like, that's not what we're trying to do. But this is why you don't listen. Because I get most of my inspiration from other people. And that's the most rewarding thing is finding new stuff. Like at the end of the day, like my whole thing is finding new music. And the more I can find it, the better.
and just trying to like understand how all these sounds work together. Some of the best albums have been recorded on GarageBand. Like you don't need anything except what's in your mind. And I have one more question, which is about collaboration. So I will kind of like help with the actual structure of the song and I'll say like abstract words. Like I'll be like, or reverb, or I'll be like, it needs to feel like an arrow. And then hopefully Cass will just make something out of it. And I like that thing about how like, there is the important role of somebody who's just like throwing out random words and that kind of thing. I've found that before. Like, I don't like feedback where it's like really detailed, but if somebody just says like three words that come to mind that you can then make use of, it's like, ah, now that's good. I care more about the vibe. <laughs> I saw gravel, mist, pink sunrise that's what i thought i don't know why but that's what i thought i thought that i'd like it to be like those things kind of placed it like a post-it note on your head sat in the park and recorded a bunch of birds thank you so much for joining us sophie this was amazing oh lots of thank yous oh yeah cool and good